Welcome back, kids. Well, in our last episode, we had a rather frustrating time meeting Ornstein and Smo, but we got it done. Sometimes in Souls, that's the way it works. It's just stuff gets difficult. So, um, now we are back here. I think it was Ornstein and Smo last episode, wasn't it? I did take a little break, so, um, yeah. So there we go. I didn't make a note, though. So I better make a note. So I know what I'm doing. Alright, we're going to want a couple homeward bones. So let's see what we got here in the homeward bone department. We have got... Uh, where are you, homeward bones? We've only got three. So we're going to want... We're going to want that. Uh, I did look up the soul of Ornstein. And you can get his uh, lightning dagger. We're not going to use it. Um... It was more of a dex weapon, not a, uh, not a, what's the word I want? Derp. It was not a, um, quality weapon. So we're going to go ahead and warp from this bonfire to the Undead Parish. I think he sells, does he sell hormones? He might not sell hormones now. But we can run up to what's his name? Homeward bones. Should we need? The more I think about it, the more I'm thinking he does not sell homeward bones. Well, I don't why would he? I mean, you know, now that I think about it, purchase item. Yeah, he does not. Okay. I'll be seeing you there. Woo! Now that we have the Lord Vessel, we can start porting around a bit. And that's kind of what we want to do. So we can just... Is it nice to be able to just go right back to where we were before without having to run back to all the garbage and mayhem? Yes, Bridge Burner, that is nice. It is, isn't it? It is very nice. So they added that mechanic in the later games. We'll talk to him again, see if he says the same yeah, stuff. I'll be hitting, there's nothing with no worries. <laughs> so he, uh, we're going to try to talk to him down in the swamp here in a minute. Because that's where he goes next. I guess that was meant to be the path of progression. Uh, do we want to go? Woo! Oh, almost ran off the edge there. What a tragic. Um, I think the lady up there sells them, but um, we're gonna need some arrows too here. Um, I think we're. I think our arrow situation is not really solid. Plus, we've got to check if putting this bow on, we still have our, our fast rolls. Because if we don't have our fast rolls with the bow on, uh, we're going to be having a hard time. We're going to have to... Yeah, we still have our fast rolls. Okay. Hello, elevator! We're basically heading up to Oswald of Karim. If you remember him in the Tower of the Bell Gargoyles, he sells Homeward Bones. I think an infinite amount. Oh, I was going to check our... Oh, I thought I had my parry on, but I didn't. Darn it. These guys are now a joke. I don't think Oswald of Kareem is going to have arrows. Ah! It's almost not even worth just wasting time trying to kill those guys. I mean, just run past them. So it seems like ages ago since we were up here in the Belfry. Oh, this isn't the Belfry. I'm thinking of Dark Souls 2. In the uh, Gargoyles. Are those hosers going to follow me? Oswald. Greeting. I am pleased. Alright, so, um, I don't, 
Oh, we have. Look at how much absolution it's going to cost us if we wanted to get forgiveness from the uh, those other people. We might need forgiveness because there's a dude down there who sells stuff, and I want to show you where it is. That's a lot. I'll just show you where he is, and hopefully you will answer right with the cat at the forest people because um, there's other stuff we're going to need here. So, I don't know, let's get get another 10. Um, and then I don't think he sells arrows. Boo. We don't want to have 13, no, so we're going to use one. Oh, I, I, uh, you to I wish it would let you activate your menus when you're in the middle of a dialogue. But it doesn't. And we Back we go. Now, did Andre sell arrows? I forgot to even look. Uh. Well, you need... He does. Okay, so, let's get some more arrows. Oh, we've got 99. I only thought we had a few, but we've got 99. Maybe it's a poison arrow. Don't be seeing you. We're not going to need poison arrows, I don't think, from here on out. But we've got 28, so we'll be alright. So next, we're going to go back down. Is there something else I need to do here? I feel like there's something else I need to do, but I can't remember. We're going to go all the way back down to the Daughter of Chaos. That's where Quilog, uh, that's where Quilog was, where we crushed her, and where she burned Mildred to a crisp. Okay, and we're just going to basically run out from here, so um, where did she go? Yeah, she's right there. Uh, we're not going that way. This way. This still doesn't work. It will eventually. We're gonna head on up, 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 head on up, up, up. see if we actually canceled Sigmire's quest or not. So again, don't hit the eggy guys. They're obnoxious. And dumb. So I'm going to show you where Shiva shows up. So if you put the right answer in up there to the stupid cat in the forest back there, Shiva will show up right here. And he will have different items that you can purchase from him. Um, quite a few items. Or you can just kill him and get the Murakumo, which is a dex weapon. It's a curved greatsword, uh, which a lot of people swear by is one of the best weapons in the game. So you can kill him. He's there with his... Uh, he has a little buddy with him. Um, there's Onion Bro. He has his little buddy with him, and you have to kill him too. And you can get the flippy ring, which is a ring that lets you do like cartwheels and stuff. 
So it makes you even faster than the rusted iron ring. So, um, before we talk to him, we're gonna get this poison off us. And we're gonna kill this. Oh, you kidding? Are you kidding? Did he leave me a harsh titanite for my trouble? Oh, please do. You want some too? Didn't you see what I did to your buddy? Give him three. Thank you. This knight of Katarina, please. Take. And you get a shield. Well, perhaps this too is the will of Lord Gwyn. Perhaps. Perhaps it is. Then I think he the goes back to sleep. Like quicksand. Hmm. The okay. So we're done here. So let's go ahead and take off our. An iron ring put back on our Havel. And homeward boat the heck out of here. And off we go. I remember the thing that we need to do. I I remember. Okay, so, we need a weapon that is divine. So, when you have a divine weapon, the next area we're going to are the catacombs, which are, you know, this is going to be two or three episodes down there because I get lost all the time. Um, but there are a bunch of skeletons, and there's necromancers down there who resurrect the skeletons after you kill them. If you have a divine weapon, it will prevent the skeletons from rising. So, um, when you kill the, the necromancers, the skeletons will stop rising, but they'll still be down there. Uh, if you die, they'll, they'll respawn. Well, hello again. You seem to need anything. Okay, so, uh, back when we were up there in Anor Orlando, I did try to get my longsword up to plus ten, and realized that he wasn't able to do it up there. Um, so it didn't work, but we can, uh, take this long sword and make it divine. So, um, I think we'll do that. We could take the occult club and make it a divine club plus five. Divine Longsword be plus five? I think to get the... That's 109 and 133. Um, so it takes the Occult off and changes it to Divine. Seems like that's the way to go. I was hoping to be able to get my Longsword on board, but it's going to be at, at level zero. So we can take this club. So we might as well do that. So, uh, 200 souls, undo ascension, material for ascensions will be lost. Okay, so now we have a divine club plus five. Don't get yourself killed. I don't like clubs. They're boring. But, you know, what are you going to do? So now, the way to go is we're just going to port back to the... Fire like shrine bonfire. And I don't know if we want to at this point we could take the Lord Vessel and talk to Frampt again. I don't think we're ready to do that yet. I don't think we're ready to do that. 
so you can talk to him and he will um, he will transport you somewhere else and I don't think we want to go there yet so uh, let's go ahead and throw on the club you know what I'm gonna do while we're here I'm gonna take a bunch of the stuff out of the bag um, access the bottomless box Take a lot of these weapons out. So let's see, how do we do that? some of these stats for these things. Um, we'll come back and look at her look at her box a little bit later. Dragon Slayer Great Bow uses a lot of strength. You gotta set it before you fire it. It's definitely not anything you can use quickly. I don't even know if we're getting pyromancers or something. Or pyromancies or something. So remember how these resurrected uh, from before? So now they'll, you know, they'll rise and they'll, um, they'll be dead. There's always one Falchion dude in a Souls game that can totally parry with that thing. It, you know, you can just run past these guys. They follow you quite a ways, though, so I find it's just easier to kill them. Stop it! Stop it! Bleed on me. This is straight annoying right here. So you can see we're taking quite a hit. Um, 
damage. We're going to this. <laughs> Are you kidding? Did he just pancake me with that thing? Careful here. I don't know if they're gonna come in and follow. This little guy is going to. Or is he? No, he's sleeping. Um, you wanna be careful here because there's gonna be a lot of ledges with drops and stuff. Uh, those uh, skulls. Oh, I thought I was targeted on this doofus. Those skulls uh, will explode. you off ledges. Um, so whenever I see them, I usually like to step out and kind of bait them, and then get my shield up, and let them come and explode. So you see, uh, shield, shield does good work, does good work against them. I don't know if they're, those other two are going to come or not. Might be able to get them with a bow. No, you can't hit him with the bow. Oh, that's no good. So I guess he's just gonna stay there. Not really going that way anyway, so. So we come in here, and again, there's lots of lots of falls to your death. So, the ladder is over here. Something is trying to kill me. The necromancer is right in the next room, I believe. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've come through here, so something's getting up again. This wasn't, there are three in here, this wasn't one that resurrected. skellies. So you could just sprint down here. They'll all follow you, though. Um, I 
gonna put my uh, black shield back on. That's the best fire defense. So we're gonna light this bonfire. If you rest at this bonfire, stuff will respawn. souls. Oh, I didn't get my... I didn't get all my souls back from up there. I'm glad I noticed that before I rested. I forgot all about that. You've probably been screaming at the TV or the computer saying, Rich Burner, you forgot your souls. It's pretty late. I probably shouldn't be doing a gaming session right now, but um, you know, I'm kind of enjoying this. And it's really probably not a good idea to be doing this place being late and tired because uh, it's going to tax our it's going to tax our frustration if that's a, even a phrase. So let's see where were there it was. We got him. See ya. See ya. This is how you die. You end up running around too quickly. You can't see anything in here. Because um, it's dark. I think eventually we'll be getting a skull lantern, but um, we don't have one yet. Okay, so it was down here. Now that is open. So the lever that we pushed in here opened that door. Now we can come down, rest here, kindle this bonfire. I mean, we've got the humanities. I figured we'd have lost all of these humanities by now, so anything's a bonus at this point. So these respawn. Um, so we might as well kill them. with our club. I hate clubs. It's a, it's a boring moveset. This is the moveset of the mace that I was using on the earlier playthrough that I abandoned, and it just was boring. It's just that's all you do. Okay, so these statues will shoot out spears. They're traps. Um, but if you put up your shield and walk through... these are kind of a setup for later. I promise you, eventually that stuff is going to uh, stuff's going to come out of there. Okay, so the necromancer for these guys is is over there. Uh, you can't really see him from... There he is. Uh, so you could shoot a couple poison arrows into him and he'll die and not elevate the the bad dudes um, we might do that anyway just to where'd he go uh, if he's gonna hide around corners and stuff forget that um, but you can just kind of make a run for it run across here all of these dudes will follow you a lot of precarious fights on the ledge. So we're just going to come over. There's also going to be an archer over here. So you can just come and kill him. Um, all the skellies will follow you though.
probably get a million uh, scimitars in here. Oh, we got a skull lantern to drop. How about that? Okay, so skull lantern. Let's so we'll just put here. There it is. So when you put it on and use your bumper, it will be a light for you. So there you go. I just realized we're at 30 minutes, so this is probably a good spot to stop with our Skull Lantern, and this is where we'll pick up in our next episode. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you then.